Welcome back guys. Day 12. God, I quit my job. Now what? Today's a little bit of a, a slow day, a little bit of a dreary day. I don't know if you can hear it. I got a tractor doing some farming over there. We know I'm getting ready to head into the, uh, the fall time. You know what that means for the farmers. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of a dreary day, you know, overcast. Of course you can't see it, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out some film footage, some things I can do for you guys. You know, I took some pictures of the bees around the flowers over there. I took a picture of some of the flowers around the yard. I'm just trying to think of some projects I need to do. And, uh, you know, it's definitely, you can tell the insects and the bugs and animals are hustling and bustling, getting ready for, for the winter. So they're out moving and grooving, doing certain things and doing what they need to do. But I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what kind of content I can bring you guys, you know. Yesterday I brought out my Bible verse. Well, speaking of which, I can speak of that. So I have two channels as of right now. I have YouTube and I have Rumble. So on YouTube and Rumble, both are D. Smith for Christ. If you're watching this video, you can see the title. Just plug it into the other channel. But Rumble's being very, um, I don't know if it's a, thing on my part but when I go to upload a video I'll get some kind of error on certain videos and uh, I know on Rumble I believe it was both my Bible verse videos would not upload for whatever reason I'll go back and double check the footage but I'm pretty sure both Bible verse videos didn't upload and there's one other one that didn't upload on Rumble so as of now I believe I have nine videos uploaded of of a uh, God, I quit my job, now what? There's nine videos, because there's a couple days that I missed. People, I had a friend ask me, he's like, well, where's day such and such and such? And I was like, well, had my nephew over. He was helping me out in the yard. We did a bunch of stuff with the branches and stuff. We were doing a workload that day. So, uh, but I just didn't do any filming. You know, he doesn't like to be on camera also. So I wasn't even gonna try. So I went ahead and uh, didn't film on that day. And then the the few days later after that i went and seen my mom so i was out there spending time with her and i didn't do any filming that day either and uh but pretty much besides that i filmed and tried to put a video out every other day today i'm a little struggling you know yesterday i had the bible study today i'm just trying to look around the yard and and you know it's just i don't know if it's just being day 12 you know i'm starting to finally get used to to the groove and i don't have as much uh anticipation or excitement to go out and run and do things or I pretty much hit a lot of the heavy hitting easier jobs that I could do but you know there is some things I do have my I do have my hardware cloth as you can see for the quail cages that I'm gonna make I'm still trying to get to it but you know, there's the size. It's just a very small 24 inch, five foot by half inch. This might barely, I bet you this might give me a, a cage or two, depending on what size I want to go with. But yeah, this is the material. Get it into focus here. Try to not get the reflection either. But yeah, so this is that hardware cloth. But let me, uh, let me flip you around, let you guys see what's going on out here. You know, just a overcast gray skies kind of even sets the mood for me it feels like I just uh yeah I'm just not feeling it today I'm just kind of eh. but this is a somewhat of a video log each day so Yes, you gotta go with the punches and tell the truth. If one day you're just feeling kind of down and just don't not feeling it, I guess you gotta report on it and say, you know. Mentally, I'm good. Yeah, it's not like you know I'm not suffering or struggling, not having a job, and not I'm losing faith in the Lord. I trust in Him, and uh, you know, it's just uh that you know we all we all go through it. You know, we have our days where not every day is happy go lucky and full charge and high energy and all that you know you have your days where you're just kind of and it's just one of those days you know it's just one of those days i'm just kind of soaking up the relaxation and the 
the clouds are out and just I'm not not feeling it, you know, I'm not getting that vitamin D. Now I have been taking my supplements though, especially with the season that we're heading into and cold and flu season, you know, because those do exist still, you know, it's not all about that 19 number, you know. So, uh, you know, those do exist, it still happens and, you know, I don't plan on getting the, the V scene anytime, anytime ever, or really, I don't need to. I'll just go ahead and, you know, take my supplements and try to eat healthy or get my vitamins in and uh, go from there. So I'm pretty much just struggling trying to figure out content. You know, maybe as the day goes on, I'll walk into something, run into something, trip over something, fall into something. <laughs> <laughs> find something to upload and put out to you guys you know but uh just the way the weather is just you know it's it's probably lower 80s it's like it, the air's kind of thick and humid you know it's just but it's just the, the way the sun's not out and it's just kind of like uh you know but we'll see what i get into Maybe at this point in time, I'll have something to upload, and then you guys will be like, oh, what is he talking about? He's got all kinds of footage. I doubt it, but <laughs> thanks for tuning in. So, guys, one thing I could cover over is while I'm underneath this area, my cubby hole, as I called it before, I, uh, I got this little solar system plugged in with these little outdoor patio lights, LED. Of course, you won't be able to see it right now working, being light out, but maybe when it gets dark out later, there'll be some content I can bring to you guys. Just to show how it lights up, you know, all solar powered, it's nice. Don't have to run any electricity out here. And the amount of use that we use it for, it never runs out. So, and I guess in an emergency, it's nice to have backup lighting and power. You know, if we ever had to come out, run out, grab it, just a quick tab. Quick tab, you just pull up and this pulls right off. I got these set up on some hooks. So you can just remove them in a pinch real easy. So yeah, that's something I can cover and talk about today. So many pretty wild and weed flowers around here. There's some like little pretty white ones too. Let me see where they're at. There's a little tiny flowers. It's a nice little combination. Little purple flowers and the yellow. Once again, the pear tree I showed showed this before. So you can see it's just cloudy. Look at that. Is that the sun? Yeah. Barely see it peeking through the clouds. Just one of those days, guys. Just, just one of those days. It's almost like it, it's like Bob Ross. Like you know how he's got that that smooth, low tone, just a happy tree, just voice. That's kind of like what it just feels like out here. You know, it's not bright, it's not crazy, it's not exciting. It's just, you know, just. Just a nice little calm talking, just, you know, do a little happy tree over here and just, just do some mountains back here in the background. Just he gets out his little brush and he puts it in the water and then slaps it on the thing and goes. You guys know what I'm talking about if you know what Bob Ross videos, you guys know. But yeah, it's just, just a quiet little mellow day out here. Just, you know, hanging out with my afro, my happy trees, a little happy mountain in the background. 
wish I had a happy mountain background. This would be beautiful. You know, if it was like the Rockies, just imagine like a big, big mountain out there, just like snow caps. Oh man, it'd be beautiful. But I'm in Ohio, so we got fields, flatland. Wait, over here we got, oh, more fields and flatland. Yep. But, you know, at least our area, my wife and I talk about it for now. This area is, you don't have uh, the earthquakes, you don't have the hurricanes, you don't have volcanoes, which is what's going on right now in Spain, island up of Spain. And uh, you don't have all that craziness. Now, yeah, occasional tornado, but we're not like Oklahoma and certain areas where like Tornado Alley or anything like that. We don't, you know, it's rare that we see enough one, even a two around here. But yeah, it's just we're in a good area. It's not, I guess, wintertime, yeah, it gets cold, but it's not like, you know, crazy cold. I would say, you know, I wouldn't say like Alaska or Canada, but I do know a few years ago, it might've been even five, seven years ago, that one day Anchorage, Alaska was actually warmer than what we were. You know, you get those, I don't know if they're Alberta Clippers maybe, Polar Vortex, whatever you want to call them. The uh, cold snap would come down out of the north and just probably the way the, the way everything worked out, it was colder here than it was in Alaska. But those are those rare occasions, you know. Alaska gets far more snow, you know. They get, you know, we may get, you know, six, eight months of warm, decent, you know, weather where they get two or three months. And then they got nine, ten months of, like, cold weather in winter, which is horrible, I would think. But, you know, there's people who like, like that and they live up there, you know. And they also got beautiful mountains, unlike I do. But, yeah, it's a... It's, it's, it's a good slice, you know, until, until the Lord, if he move, picks us up, uproots us, and moves us somewhere else, until then, if that's, if that's his will, then so be it. But right now, I'm content. I'm happy with what I got. You know, I'm just going to seek him, decide, see what he wants me to do with my life going forward. You know, we'll see what the world becomes, and uh, I'll go from there. But this is kind of just like a little video vlog, me just talking to you guys and doing some video. Hopefully the wind's not too crazy. Hopefully my movement's not making the microphone all stupid. You know, rubbing against my shirt because I did put the microphone underneath, underneath the shirt. So, and hopefully I'm not moving the camera around so fast that you're getting like motion sickness. You know, but I'd rather film other things than my my pretty face. <laughs> I'm sure you guys appreciate that too. Guys, thanks for checking out my content today. I know it wasn't a crazy amount of things going on but you know you have those days where you know the sky's gray and you just kind of you know you feel eh. but uh you know every day is is a different experience and that's what you're going to have in life you know it's not all about the, the fancy glamorous things and not all about the great and up days you also have your mediocre days like today some days you have bad you know people usually don't like to show that you know people on instagram and all that stuff it's always the glamorous great stuff right you never see the bad stuff you know also i have two channels like i mentioned before rumble and youtube d smith for christ check out both channels subscribe you know one channel might have certain videos uploaded while the other one you know might have issues and you might be able to watch all the content between the two until i can get it resolved and figure out why it doesn't want to upload on one channel versus the other you know and just keep watching for further content. Thanks for watching D Smith for Christ.